What's up guys, Malachi here. Today, I wanted to send a message to my fellow YouTubers. Well, YouTubers that are not failing at this whole subscriber game. Lately, as in the last couple of weeks, there's been a pretty big commotion about the demonetization of videos by YouTube. This is what I wanted to talk about specifically. First and foremost, if you've made a video complaining about the state of YouTube or ranting about how your channel is being deleted or being shut down or some other pandering bullshit for views, you're just a piece of shit. That's all there is to it. You fucking suck. I've seen some pretty big YouTubers milking the shit out of this demonetization wave, and quite frankly, it's infuriating. Now, there's been some pretty shasty shit that YouTube has been responsible for. YouTube heroes. <coughs> the bullshit algorithm, and ridiculous trending videos, just to name a few. This message is not about those instances, though. It's about the demonetization whiners. Let's just start off by saying that YouTube is a privilege. There was a time when there was no money in this platform and people just made videos for fun and out of the passion. Those days are dead and buried. I get that YouTube evolved and with it an empire was created. I get that it is also oversaturated and practically impenetrable now. YouTube is kinda like Silicon Valley. If you got in early, you're fucking killing it. Now that the bubble has burst, however, there are terms and regulations in play. This was the natural order of things, and frankly, I'm blown away that it took this long for, the, for it to happen. <sighs> now back to these goddamn complainers. The fact that they are even able to make a living wage doing something that they enjoy is already incredible. In the real world, do you know how few people actually enjoy the job they do? Fucking nobody. That's who. Not even looking at how much money these assholes make, the notion that they have the audacity to complain about YouTube is just amazing to me. YouTube is essentially their employer, and do you know what happens when people complain about their employers? I'll tell ya. Because I've had an actual job. If your boss hears you, you get fired. Or your coworkers or whoever else you are bitching at just tell you either to shut the fuck up or to find a new job. But seriously, you have these entitled pricks complaining that YouTube is in charge of this demonetization like they don't seem to understand that it's a fucking business. These bigger YouTubers take for granted the fact that they have no transferable skills. Also, YouTube is not only a privilege, but a choice. Plenty of popular YouTubers have never had a real job, and plenty others have quit their jobs to pursue doing what they love. While I respect the balls it takes to leave a sure thing, at the same time I acknowledge that it's moronic. Many of these content creators think that they will be able to sustain themselves just by making videos for the rest of their lives. This is certainly true for some of the bigger names, but at the same time, the risk that YouTube get, goes under tomorrow is very real and plausible. So we have a huge horde of people that willingly have massive gaps in their employment history, and some of these YouTubers will never be able to get a traditional job again. You think anyone's going to hire someone that makes a living making fun of other people for the amusement of children? On the other end of the spectrum, we have minimum wage workers that are infinitely more grateful to their employers than these spoiled-ass lucky content creators are. Here's the last thing. I seriously hope that most of this shit gets shut down. I hope that these creators are taught the lessons of humility and that their skin-deep problems aren't cared about in the real world. So basically, if you're not grateful for what you have, you're just a piece of shit.